Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to take input from user in Bash. So this is my script file that I had created onto my desktop here. If you see in that file, I'll write some commands. So first of all, to take an input from the user, there is a keyword that is called as read. So I will just write here read. And if you see, it has turned into red color. After that, write the name of the variable in that one you will store the value. Let's say we want user to enter his name. So I will just write here name. And after that, I want to print a message. So I will just write here echo space inverted commas. And in that I will write here, enter your name. Basically we should enter this line before our read statement. Now, first of all, the message will be presented to the user as enter your name and then user will enter his name or her name and then will print that message to print that message will write here echo space dollar sign and now the name of the variable and if you remember the variable was name so now we have successfully called our variable into our echo statement i will save this file and now let's head to our terminal to run this script as the script is onto my desktop so i will write here cd desktop and now we are into our desktop directory to run this script there is a command which is bash space name of the file in my case it is script.sh hit enter here if you see here we have a message as enter your name i will enter my name as zubair hit enter and here we have a message as zubair as the output let's have some more values and let's add some more things into our code now let's ask the user to enter his or her age as well so now i will write a message that will ask the user to enter their age so i will write here echo space inverted commas and in that i will write here enter your age after that i will write here read and the variable the name of the variable that i'm going to use will be age and after that we'll print our age as well so I will just write here echo space dollar sign age. So now we have age and name of the user. I will print that one after the name. So now we are good to go and let's rerun our script. So for that purpose, I'll again use the same command and here it is asking enter your name. I will enter it as Zubair enter and here it is asking about my age. I will enter any particular number after that hit enter again. And here, if you see, we have Zubair and age as an output. So this is how you can use your read keyword to take the input from the user. In case, if you want to use that one with any particular phenomena, like you want to use it into your for loop, while loop, if else statement, switch statement, you can do so. I'll show you that how you can do that. For that purpose, let me edit my program. I'll keep my age variable. I will remove everything else as I want to take age and I want to use that one into my for loop. So I will just write here echo enter age or let's say let's write here enter number and the name of the variable will be number and now let's use that one into our for loop. So I will write here for space brackets and in that one I will write here a variable which will be where equals zero semicolon space var less than number number is our variable so i will just write that one in here semicolon space var plus plus after that we'll write here do and in our do section we'll print a line let's say we write here echo space hyphen hyphen bash i will get out of this and i will write here done it means we are done with our for loop now let's run this program and let's see what do we get here it is asking enter number so i will write here five hit enter so here if you see our for loop has executed five times so this is how you can use your user input into different phenomena into your bash programming and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one